Hey there friend, welcome to another practice. Today's practice, open to possibilities, the side bodies. I, did, I didn't provide her actor's fee, so she is not gonna stay on camera. I'm Chelsea, that was Luna, and thanks for being here. Today's practice is about half an hour, and we're gonna, we're gonna lean into the side bodies. So we have different energies per the left and the right side, so I talk about that in the class. You will need your mat, your yoga clothes, and a block or something similar. If you don't have a yoga block, totally cool. Uh, we're gonna do half moon pose and triangle pose to really lengthen through those sides. So something like this if you don't have it. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna feel into those side bodies because it's important to be open in all aspects of our bodies so that we can receive uh, the good things that are coming our way. So yeah, grab your stuff. So happy you're here and I will see you very, very shortly. Hey there friend, welcome to today's practice. Open to possibilities. The side body. So as I said in the intro today, we're gonna focus on your left side and your right side. We'll do some other stuff, you know, like we do. But, so I want you to start in mountain pose. So take a moment, maybe you walk your feet out a little bit so that you're even between the four corners, and then palms open, teeny bend in the knees, and check to make sure that all of your joints are lining up. So knees over ankles, hips over knees, shoulders over hips, and head over shoulders. It's like head, shoulders, knees, and toes, but backwards. And then you can start to settle in with the breath, close your eyes down, make sure you soften your shoulders, allowing your blades of your shoulders to slide down your back. And start to breathe deep down into your belly. You can close your eyes down if that's working for you today. Settling into all the energy and getting into the body is the main focus today. And maybe you have some other intention for your practice. I invite you to do so. It's really important to have your own goals in your personal practice. So in your mountain pose, let's take a few breaths. We'll take five and you can focus on your intention or just root down into your body. One more breath. Really using that exhale to soften everything, ground down. And now inhale, bend in the knees, sweep those arms high, exhale, down you go to forward fold. Halfway lift, forward fold, reach to extended mountain. <laughs> Ooh, hair flip, and you're gonna lean to the right and look to the left, so getting in to the left side body, which is, which is your lunar energy, your feminine energy. And so opening that side up, thinking about what you can open to. My hair is down in this video. I, uh, <laughs> you don't really need to know this, but why not? I am desperately overdue for a haircut. It's been 13 months and my hairstylist likes to cut dry. So uh, this, is, this is where we are today. Inhale to come up. Exhale to drop over, so uh, there'll be, be lots of big old hair flips today, which will be interesting. Now we're standing into the right side body, which is your sun side body, like the daytime vibes, and it's also masculine energy. So these are good things to know in case you have sorenesses on one side, or maybe like one side gets a little tense or tender, then you can kind of like reflect and be like, oh, okay, like I haven't really been feeling anger or whatever and that's more of a masculine energy or maybe I haven't been feeling empathy which is more of a, a lunar, a feminine energy. Reach up, do extended, drop down, forward fold, halfway lift, take your fold. Let's head back up to extended mountain and as you exhale, twisting to the right, drop the arms, inhale back up, Whew, same thing on the other side. So now we're twisting into the side body 
And we do these moves a lot, but as I pointed out in past videos, intention, intention, intention. So we're paying attention to detail with intention to help that part of the body out. I am so guilty, especially lately, of going through my practices and just going through them. And when I don't have intention behind it, like it's just kind of wasted time for me. So if that's you, maybe it's not, but put, put the focus on your side bodies today so you can really open up to the possibilities that are waiting for you. One more on each side, we'll last one. Reach to extended, drop down to fold, halfway to lift. Forward fold, you're gonna set the high plank. And then you can drop down to your knees. We're going to do some cat cows. So inhale for your cow. Exhale for your cat. You can take three more of these. Just getting the spine going. Maybe moving some things out of your shoulder blades. You know the drill. And now, after this last one, you can come back to tabletop and we're going to do some lateral cows. So again, working into the side body. So when you squish off to the right, so your gaze is going to go back to your right hip and then exhale to come back to center. Inhale to head to the left, exhale to come back to center. When you go from side to side, instead of focusing on the side that is open, I want you to focus on the side that you're squishing. So focus on that. Squish into the right and exhale on the release. Squish into the left and exhale on the release to help your muscles squeeze things out and then come back to relaxation. So we'll do one more on each side. And then you can drop back for child's pose. Two breaths. walk your hands off to the right to stretch through the lunar side, the left side. Maybe you stack your left hand on your right one. Totally don't have to. Breathing into the left rib cage, really expanding. You want to open, open, open. Hmm. Crawl the hands back to center and now we're going to take it off to the other side. Oh, there's so much hair. All right. <laughs> I'll try not to complain about it too much, I promise. So heading off to the left, right side's expanding, that masculine energy. And sometimes we don't, we don't want to feel into certain energies. I have a hard time with my masculine side, my masculine energy. I don't do well with anger, um, internally or externally. So, <laughs> And not that anger is like all masculine, but um, yeah, there, there are just certain things like my masculine energy I have a hard time with sometimes. You can come back to center. We're going to come back up to tabletop. And then you can come to your high plank and resume your down dog, or come to your down dog. We haven't even done it yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. So taking a moment, maybe you're going to walk your heels, do your thing, two breaths. You're going to inhale to take your right leg high. Exhale to step in between the hands. Left hand will stay down, right hand will reach high. So we're going into a high lunge right out the gate. If the high lunges aren't for you, the knee can drop totally, totally. Holding here for two more breaths. And you can feel that length in the right side and that twist, activation, all the things we're looking for. Exhale to release down. You're going to swing your leg back up to a three-legged dog. I almost said high plank. And then you're going to bend your right leg to stack your hips. So we're getting some more opening on that side. And you can feel this in your hips, which I thoroughly appreciate. You can come back to your three-legged and then exhale to drop down, taking it to the other side now. So inhale to reach for your three-legged and then exhale to step. Staying in that high lunge, right hand will stay on the mat. 
and then your left hand will come up, reaching, twisting, working into your feminine side. And remembering that it's okay to explore both energies. Like if you're a man or woman, like we have both energies, we're around both energies, so it's good to be familiar with both of them. Because as a woman, sometimes it's good to uh, have that man energy. And as a man, it's good sometimes to have that woman energy in terms of like caretaking and things like that. Okay, so up you go to your three-legged dog on the left and then bend the left leg, stack the hips, opening up through that side for your scorpion dog or wild thing, for her to call both. Come back to three leg dog and then exhale, drop down dog. You can hop or step your feet to your hands, forward fold, in breath, halfway lift. Exhale, down you go to fold, reach to extended mountain. Exhale, melt fold, halfway lift. Take your fold, step or hop to high plank. And turn around all the way down to the belly. Inhale for a cobra, exhale to release, and you can move to your child's pose. And you're gonna hold your child's pose for a little bit of time. I'm gonna come up just so I can see you, but kick it in your child's pose if you wanna go back to that side bend on one side and then the other, you sure can. So when we open to new possibilities, it's very important to, to be open and not to close off. I've been, I've been closing off lately, like April's a, April's a rugged month, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, I was reading this post this morning about glimmers and these like glimmers that happen in your life, which would also be like these cool possibilities or just happy little moments that happen here and there. And so how can you open to glimmers? And this looks like, just small moments like maybe going outside, taking your dog for a walk, making a cup of tea, maybe somebody did something nice for you. So really honing in on these little moments and holding them close and allowing those happy bubbles that we get in our chest and our tummies to really like bubble up and um, create that like high intense vibration of goodness in your body. So taking your time in your child's pose to think about where there are little glimmers in your life. Maybe somebody held the door open for you when you went to get a coffee or something like that. I was walking my dog this morning and like I said, like I've been, been having a hard time. Uh, long story, won't, won't get into it, but I was walking my dog this morning and I ran into my neighbor and he hopped out of his truck and he's like, I've been meaning to give this to you. And um, they, they went on a trip over Christmas and they went to Harry Potter world and so they had gotten me this like journal set. I love Harry Potter. I love 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 it. And so this Harry Potter journal with this pen <laughs> that's a wand. So of course I got home and I was like, Guardian Maviosa and I was doing all like casting all these spells with this pen wand. But I was like, oh this is that glimmer. This is that like cool thing that like and so I wrote that vibration and I'm still writing it. It was like the nicest thing so when those moments happen to you, because they, they do and they will, hang on to them, like ride that wave because you deserve it. So take one more breath in your child's pose. Big old breath. And then you can come back up to your down dog, get there how you need to. And yes, I was trying to cast spells on Luna for those of you that were wondering, I just like totally cheesed out and it was amazing, which it brings me to my next point. Don't dim your light. Like, do your thing. Like, be cheesy. Be yourself. You're going to inhale to take that right leg high again and then exhale to step it through. Pivot your left heel down. And then we're going to inhale to come up to warrior one, not for very long, just to get our alignment. So check in with your feet while you're here. You're going to drop your right, your right elbow to your right thigh. And then you're gonna reach that left arm over, expanding the left side for your extended side angle. So this is a lovely one. You're getting activation on the right side and length on the left side. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you drop that hand down. Maybe you wanna drop down, but you can't quite go all the way, so you can grab your block and you can do it that way. 
So staying here in your extended side angle, two deep breaths. Hmm. And then you can cartwheel the arms down, pick up that back heel, and step to high plank. Move back to your down dog. We'll take it to the other side. Inhale, up you go, left foot in the air. Exhale, step through, pivot the heel down, and then you can reach for that. Oh, I almost said extended warrior. That's not right. Your warrior one. Checking in with the alignment of your feet, and then when you're ready, drop the left elbow to the left thigh, reaching the right arm up and over to stretch things out on the right side. Again, maybe you drop the hand all the way down, maybe you grab your block for some support. Two breaths. You can drop the hands to frame the foot, pick up the right heel, step to high plank, and settle back to your down dog. Take a moment, maybe you shake your tail, pedal the heels. Notice what your side body is doing, your side bodies. So just notice the activation. You've got a little bit going in your obliques, your ribs are kind of lifted, and your working things through those energy channels in the body. Deep breaths here, two more. Let your head hang heavy. My neck has been so tense. So <laughs> this like hurts so good type deal. You're gonna walk your feet to your hands or you can hop if that feels good. Forward fold, halfway lift on the in breath. Out breath down to fold. Inhale, reach, extended mountain. And exhale to bring your hands to heart center. You're gonna step back with the left foot, moving to our triangle legs. So arms will come out. We're gonna do some leans. Inhale, leaning forward. Exhale, back to center. Take four more. Feeling into those side bodies yet again. How can you open? Taking one more. And now dropping to your triangle. Right hand to right leg, left hand in the air. Again, maybe you're going all the way down to the floor. Maybe where'd that go? You're gonna have your block. Perfect, I don't know why I'm saying that, it's fine. So you can look forward or you can look towards your left hand. Again, tapping into that side that's extended. It's spring, I've said that multiple times in the last month. And spring is a lovely time to remember how to open. So the snow is melting and it's creating space for the grass to open, for flowers to bloom. And so there's, there's potential to like feed into this energy so that we can use it for ourselves. And so how can you, what can you unthaw <laughs> essentially to come back into that opening to these possibilities that universe God is sending your way? As you exhale, drop the left hand to the block of your leg, and then take the right hand high for your revolved triangle. And so as I said, I've been having some trouble opening. Like, I've had a lot of emotions, and I just haven't wanted to, so I've closed myself off, and it's not helpful, so don't do that. Like, cautionary tale, mm -mm, not for you. All right, you're gonna come up, take your star pose, make yourself big, open and expand. But yeah, I don't recommend it. Uh, and I know better, I really do, but I just, I just didn't wanna. But I'm feeling it in my body, like I've got this stuff going on on my left side and my head and my neck and like some stuff in my right side. So it was a really good reminder that like, I need to open up to and practice what I preach. You can drop your arms as you exhale. Point your left toes out now, and then you're gonna take your triangle legs, so making sure that your right foot is where it needs to be. Bring your arms out, and then you're gonna inhale, lean forward, exhale back to center, staying with the breath as you move. I'm in a sing-songy mood today, which is kind of cool. It's been a bit. One more. And then we're gonna drop down, left hand to left leg, right hands in the sky. So, you probably, maybe you notice, maybe you haven't, uh, my little lamps aren't on. We don't have power right now. <laughs> the power company sent out a notice yesterday, like, you want to have power from 8 to 11. And for somebody that works from home, I was like, hmm, 
shit. So thank goodness for camera batteries, showing a little bit of gratitude for, for batteries at this moment. So focus on that opening on the right side now and taking those big rib breaths to get everything blooming and ready for those possibilities. And sometimes we need to close off. It happens, like things ebb and flow, but don't be afraid to express how you're feeling. Don't be afraid to not be okay because it happens and it's just a part of life and that's okay. Like perfection isn't real, even though sometimes we really want it to be. Uh, it's not, it's not a realistic spot to try to put yourself in. You can drop to your revolved. So take the right hand to the left leg and reach the left hand high. Moving into that twist, wringing things out. Again, what are you unthawing? What can you, what can you unfreeze so that you can melt that cold rigidity away? Take the hands high, moving to your star pose, two breaths. And so yes, remember the glimmers, the, the Harry Potter thing like really made my day, it was the funniest little thing. You can drop your arms. And we're gonna kick it back in mountain pose. So check that line up and take a moment to bring your chest high. Show that confident stance that I know you have. And then gently lift through the crown of the head, zip up the spine, get that posture nice and rolling and confident. I don't know why I said rolling, like good vibes rolling maybe. And then you can close the eyes down and settle in to your mountain pose for three breaths. You can open the eyes, reach extended mountain, drop it down to fold, watching the engagement in those side bodies and noticing again if there's any tension between one or the other. Halfway lift on the in breath, down you go to fold. You're gonna catch your elbows for a rag doll. And I want you to slay side to side if it doesn't present any problems in your knees or any parts of your other parts of your body. So always modify where you need to modify. It's very important to remember that as students and also as a yoga teacher. Let's take two more breaths here. You can exhale to drop to fold, halfway lift, forward fold, reach to extended mountain, drop down fold, half lift, Forward fold, you can hop or step to high plank. And now we're gonna roll to side plank. So roll into your left, so your weight's on your hand. Feet are either crisscross like mine, you can stack them if you wish. You can also drop your right, your left knee, your left knee. So maybe you're in a modified plank. Again, modify, modify. <laughs> I wasn't gonna talk about this, but I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> it was that I was seeing my brother in Wyoming and I went to a yoga studio. I was so excited. Hold for one more breath. And uh, it, <laughs> it was a very strange experience. I won't tell the whole story because it's long. Come back to your high plank and then you roll off to the other side. So hand, right hands down, feet are either crisscrossed or stacked. Again, drop the right knee if you need to. But the instructor, um, I loved the flow, like I really enjoyed it, but there were certain things that the instructor didn't offer modifications. You can come back to your high plank and then we're gonna drop down to our belly and let's take some cobra swims. So inhale to come up, exhale to drop down. We'll take three more of these. But there were, there were multiple, like, there were like six of us in the class and all different skill levels. And there were a few parts that she just didn't, um, the modification wasn't there and I was a little concerned somebody was going to hurt themselves. You can drop back to your child's pose, holding here. You can stay down and then come up. 
But, <laughs> and the reason I wasn't going to talk about this is uh, I, don't, I don't like to complain about other yoga teachers because I have a deep respect for anybody that teaches yoga. It's hard. Uh, but she, <laughs> she called me out in front of the entire class for something that like I wasn't hurting myself. It's what I do in my personal practice. I don't get to practice for myself a lot or go to classes, so it was very discouraging. Uh, and I walked out of the class feeling shamed and defeated, and if I'm being honest, like a little pissed off. Uh, my brother's girlfriend was with me, so she validated my experience and my feelings because I thought like, okay, like maybe I'm going too far with this and I just like, I'm overthinking it and taking it over the top, <laughs> but I totally wasn't. Um, but the lesson I learned from this is don't dim your light, like shine bright, my darlings. And if, uh, if you're too bright for somebody, so be it. Like, I'm not talking about being like boisterous or um, egotistical or anything like that, but I asked my brother's girlfriend, like, was I showboating? I, I don't think I was showboating. And she was like, no, like you, you were doing your thing. And uh, she just kind of thought that that instructor was intimidated. So that's going to happen. Um, hate is going to hate. <laughs> Thanks, T-Swift. But don't dim your confidence based on somebody else's insecurities. This is the biggest lesson I learned from that experience. So I'm sure this has happened to you within your life, but um, stand tall like the tree and be yourself because you have so many gifts to offer. It's very, very important. All right, you're gonna come back up to your, your down dog. That was kind of a long child's pose, but I wanted to share that because um, yeah, it was a very, it was a very deep lesson for me. As you inhale, you can hop or step feet to hands, or fold, halfway lift, drop down to folds, and then we're gonna inhale to reach to extended mountain, and exhale to bring our hands to heart center. So uh, as I said in that class, like I really enjoyed the flow. It was super cool. So we're gonna do one of the poses um, that she did, it, which is an X. So you're gonna extend your right arm to the sky, left arm's down, so you're kind of trying to make this like X with the, or I guess an X would be like this, but so it's not really an X, but. So now you can lift your left foot if you would like, so that you're spread out, and then maybe we make the full X like this. Taking two more breaths here, wherever you are, totally fine. And for those of you that are wondering, the move I did that like she called me out on, is as we exhale we're gonna drop and I cue you to shake sometimes because um, maybe that feels good for your muscles so I I shook out after tree pose and in front of the whole class she says oh we don't kick out we ground we absorb the energy and then she like continued to make fun of me for a couple more minutes like she was laughing and stuff but <laughs> I was like you're, you're not really supposed to like call people out individually. Like she didn't know me, doesn't know what kind of traumas might be living under the surface. So it was a very strange experience for me. So we're gonna take it to the other side, ground down on your left foot, and then you lift the right one if you want, or you can just lean to the side. So getting into those side bodies yet again, right hand can stay down, or maybe you take it to that full X. Um, so yeah. And then I like it made me a little afraid to do my own practice like the rest of the session But then I was like, you know what screw it like I'm here for my yoga and my practice like It is what it is <laughs> And then she made another comment as we were leaving so I do not know if I will return to that studio because uh, It left me feeling yucky to say the least We're gonna hold for one more breath And then exhale you can release down <laughs> Absorb the energy if you wish, or you can kick your legs out. Either or works for you, works for me. Okay, we're gonna take half moon because it's a lovely like side body activator. Um, and just to come back to the positive notes of the practice, like continue to reach into those glimmers. Like I really attach to that word because I like sparkly things. I'm like a raccoon. And so I, when I said glimmer, I was like, okay, focus on the glimmers, not the haters. And uh, yeah, it's okay to feel the feelings. Like I, I let myself feel hurt feelings after that experience yesterday. I kind of was mopey anyway. And so I was like, that lady was mean to me, but she, it was fine. Like she was laughing and like, it was just, like I said, it was weird. Okay, and moving on. 
we're gonna let that go. We're gonna take half moon so you can use your block if you need it or if you have something that's sturdy that's not a block. Um, right foot's gonna come forward and then you're gonna start to drop with the right hand. Left leg is either lifting in the air or maybe you tap those toes and then and make sure your right toes are pointed fairly forward. My foot likes to twist in so try to keep that open. Left arm is going to extend to the sky. Left toes can be dialed down towards the mat. If you can, <laughs> you can take your gaze, ah, balance um, forward, or you can take it up to your hand. Uh, this usually like throws me off, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back on down. So holding here for two more breaths. Lovely, lovely half moon. You can release. And maybe you, let's pop into mountain pose for two breaths. You can keep your eyes open if you wish. But these glimmers uh, that we have throughout our days, or maybe like they, they don't happen as often as we would like, they're a good way to tell your body that you're safe. So if you hone in on them, and fully experience them and are mindful and present with them, they can drop you into your parasympathetic nervous system. So you're not in fight or flight, which a lot of us like kind of live in that all the time. So anytime you can focus on those little happy, positive moments, it's good to get you into rest and digest, which is what I really want for you. Okay, left foot's gonna lead and you can have your block or you can drop, I'm gonna drop all the way down to the floor this time just so you can kind of see. Well, we'll see if I can do it. So reaching out and then dropping that left hand. Oof. And then right foot's coming up. You can extend that right hand to the sky. Maybe you take your gaze forward. I'm gonna come back with my block. It's way, way more better for me. There we go. So right side's activated, both sides are activated to be honest, like I've got this going in my left hip flexor, everybody's different so you might feel it elsewhere, but so we're going to take two more breaths here. And releasing down, Woof. maybe you gracefully fall out, that's okay, and uh, <laughs> kick out if you need to. Uh, and then we're going to take two breaths in mountain pose. So happy you're here with me. Thanks for putting up with all my shenanigans. Okay. So let's reach on that big old breath to extended mountain. Drop down to your fold. Halfway lift. Back down to fold. Hopper step to high plank. You're gonna drop your knees, swoop off to the side, and we're gonna head to half corpse pose. So rooting down through the feet, maybe you scoot them a little bit closer to your tailbone, not make sure that you're not like going too far past your natural bend in your knees. Cautionary tail. And then as you inhale, take those hips high. So Bridge pose is good because it's firing up. You can feel this in your obliques a little bit, but it's also just good for your digestion. So I just wanted to toss this in there because it's a good pose. Root down into your shoulder blades, making sure that you can be open in the airway. And when I say like open to possibilities, we've been talking about the side body, but also like your posture throughout the day. We talked about that in the last video, super sexy spine. Your posture allows you to breathe more efficiently. So if you're hunched and closed off in that spinal flexion, it's curving and crunching your airway. So open body, open breath. Exhale, rolling on down. <laughs> There's those, those singing songs. You're gonna take the left leg long and then pull the right knee across the body to the left side with the left hand. Teeing the right arm out for your supine spinal twist. Getting that stretch length on the right side, your masculine sun energy. Might feel this in the glute, my T-band area. Two breaths. You 
can come back to the back. Pop it in a half corpse pose. Oh, my hip popped right as I said pop. <laughs> of course. All right. The right leg's going long. Pull the left knee with the right hand off to the side. And then left arm tees out. Supine on your left. That lunar moon energy. breathing with the body just really feeling into if there's any sensitivity on either side maybe you know why it's sensitive maybe you don't either way it's totally fine and then you can roll to your back Ooh, I think the power might be back on I just heard the the mini fridge kick on cross your fingers for me friends it wasn't supposed to come back on until 11 <laughs> So now take the legs long, reach the arms high, and then allow them to rest. It would not be, uh, it would not be a side body practice without banana asana. So take those limbs off to the right. You might cross your left leg over your right one, and then deep old breaths into the left side. Remembering that it's not, it's not always easy and easy, easy to stay open. Uh, if it were, everybody would be open about how they feel. Everybody would be open in conversation and communication. But communication is tricky, and uh, expressing what you need is also very hard to do sometimes. But if you can stay open, it'll help those around you and it'll help you figure out what you need and what feels best for you in tricky situations and in not tricky situations. You can come back to center and then take it to the other side, limbs off to the left, cross your right leg over your left one if that feels good for you. And then taking that expansion into the right side. And when we choose to grow as an individual, when we choose to change and to continue to better ourselves, we're, we're practicing an opening, an opening into our better highest form, into an authentic soul. And that <laughs> is not an easy task. It is so easy to fit in with the masses. There's that song from the show Weeds little boxes on the hillside, little boxes made of ticky-tacky. Um, then it says like, they're all made out of ticky-tacky and they all look just the same. And I think about that song sometimes because I'm like, I don't want to be the little ticky-tacky house. I want to be like the bright purple, triple story, like weird Weasley house. So don't blend in if, uh, if that doesn't serve you. Maybe you like to blend in, that's cool too, but let your freak flag fly. So you can come back to center and then let the arms drop to the sides. And we'll take our Shavasana. So spending five breaths here. If you want to stay down longer, totally okay. Let your practice be your practice. I'm here to guide you, but do your thing at the end of the day. If you're going to come back with me to reality, you can start to wiggle your digits. Maybe you sway your hips side to side a little bit, any motion. Sometimes dropping your head side to side feels lovely. So now, when you take your fetal position, I just learned this the other day, and it was something I knew, but I forgot. Uh, rolling to the right side. will give you a little more energy. So your right side, sun side, day side activated. Um, it's a little more energetic. So maybe you're looking for that energetic push 
to bring you back out of your practice and get you ready for your day. But if you want to stay kind of chill and calm, maybe it's sleepy time for you, you roll to the left side, that night side, where things are a little bit less energetic. So spending two breaths in your fetal position, either side that you chose, and then you can make your way up to seated when you're ready. One more fun fact about the sides. So after you eat a big meal, it's not ideal to lie down because uh, your tummy is, if you're laying flat, like all that food and stuff is like kind of like sitting weird in your tummy. If you do need to lay down though, lay down on your left side because your tummy is, your stomach, your tummy, your stomach is staying in the shape that it normally makes. And so when you lay on your left side, it's easier for your body to digest. So if you need to lay down after a big meal, take fetal position on the left side and it'll help digest things better than if you lay on your back or the right side. Thank you, thank you for being here, my friend. So appreciate your support, your encouragement, and just uh, you in general. So I hope you have a beautiful rest of your time in the night or day, and I will see you for the next video. Namaste.